welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022 here in Bucharest in Romania and I've got the great pleasure of being in the studio today with Cesar One who is uh, the Director Elect of the Telecommunications Standardization Bureau. Mr. Noe, welcome to the studio. Uh, thank you, Max. Can I ask you, how would you describe ITU in the world right now? Uh, as everyone knows, uh, I, the ITU is the uh, uh, United Nations specialized agency for ICT. So uh, ITU uh, will, will, uh, has a role of the facilitating the uh, development economically and socially, and also it facilitate uh, international collaboration among, na uh, among nations. So more specifically, uh, today's big goal or big role is to connect the unconnected. And uh, also the role of ITU can be broken down to the uh, details. Uh, that is will be uh, uh, each roles of the, each sectors, uh, ITUT, ITUR, and ITUD. So regarding ITUT, ITUT responds for the standardization, telecommunication standardization, as it, the name says, as it is. But uh, uh, standardization uh, is a uh, very important. Uh, developing the standards is one of the role of the ITUT. But my belief is that the uh, dissemination, implementation of standards is more important than that. So uh, actually the ITUT need to uh, contribute to the uh, whole goal a whole role of the ITU. Uh, that's my uh, idea. Now, you've been called the, the father of LTE, referring to the long-term evolution towards uh, 4G mobile networks. Given your industry experience, uh, which you've got a long and lengthy, uh, healthy career, uh, what do you consider your priorities as the ITU's next uh, standardization director? Yeah, uh, thank you for mentioning the father of LTE. Actually, my experience in industry is very uh, key feature of myself. And uh, yes, uh, from the industry point of view, actually during the campaign of the election, I have four commitments. But I found recently uh, there are uh, recent uh, frequently asked question is question about three priorities. Okay. Uh, but no problem. I can map uh, the four priority into the three priorities. Uh, first, uh, the outreach worldwide. Uh, this is the same as uh, uh, the, uh, to connect the unconnected through the standardization. Uh, second, uh, it's a, a new ecosystem or new collaboration framework uh, that we need uh, require to achieve the first uh, priority. And third one, the third is uh, last but not least, uh, in the uh, uh, organizational management. Uh, that is a foundational basis for other priorities. I mean the uh, open and inclusive, uh, efficient, effective, transparent management that is needed for all. Uh, from the industry point of view, ITUT activity is more practical, more responsive, and more useful. ITUT standardization need to contribute to the people's life and society, and lead to the socially and economically development, uh, ITUT need to uh, contribute to such a uh, whole uh, ITU role. And how can the ITU standardization sector, also known as ITUT, spread the benefits of new technologies more widely, as well as help to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? Yeah, actually, one idea of myself is uh, I have a cross collaboration, cross relationship with the industry, so uh, industry is very important to a dissemination of the standards. Uh, that is one, my uh, first priority, outreach worldwide. To achieve this, uh, we need uh, uh, industry. Industry uh, implements the standards. So uh, more involvement of industry will uh, help such uh, new technology dis dissemination. Actually, I believe that the telecom standards becomes meaningful only when it widely uh, spread. Uh, then the uh, economies of scale and competition principle will lead to a cost reduction and it makes the service and product affordable. Then the, the standard will widely spread. I want to create such a, a virtual cycle. That's my idea. 
Well, that'd be excellent, and, uh, and let's hope that, uh, that we can bring it to fruition very quickly and efficiently, which I'm sure that you will. Mr. Cesar, thank you so much indeed for being with us in the studio today. I know that uh, you've had a, a long journey. You've been back to Japan and, and here again, uh, but uh, I just wanted to say congratulations uh, on uh, being elected uh, as director of the Telecommunications Standardization Bureau, uh, and we look forward to catching up with you again many times. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs>